Hi there and welcome to Apple A Day. This is my second video on DaVinci Resolve. Today I have a quick tip on fixing desaturated or washed out video when you export it from DaVinci Resolve on the Mac. And it's not just a saturation issue, it also seems to lose some contrast. So here I have two clips side by side. The left clip was exported by using the default settings, which is how I've been exporting video for a while. And the right clip is the fixed version. Now, luckily the fix does not have anything to do with adding more color correction or changing anything in your workflow. You just need to change a couple of things in your preferences and in your project settings. So with your project open, go to the DaVinci Resolve menu and select preferences. And in the preferences window, go to the general page. And in there, there are two checkboxes that you need to turn on. You need to check the Use Mac Display Color Profiles for Viewers option. And you also want to turn on the Automatically Tag Rec 709 Scene Clips as Rec 709-A. Now, changing these settings will require you to relaunch DaVinci. So I'm going to hit Save. And it warns me that the preferences were updated and they won't take effect until the next time I restart Resolve. That's OK there. We're just going to restart it right now. I'm going to quit. OK, so I'm back in the project and it doesn't look any different, uh, which is great because I don't want it to look any different as I've already done the color correction and color grading that I want. So the next thing you want to do is make some changes in the project settings. So over on the bottom right, you've got this little cog. I'm going to click on that and that will open up the project settings. I'm going to go to the color management page. And in there, I need to change the output color space to Rec 709-A. But that does not appear to exist. This is what tripped me up before when I was trying to fix this export problem. I couldn't follow the instructions that I found because it didn't have that value in here. And I realized that it's because I'm using DaVinci YRGB Color Managed as my color science. I don't want to turn this off because I need it. All of my footage is shot in Blackmagic RAW, and this color science setting automatically gives me a base color grade right from the get-go. I don't have to have any correction nodes just to get started, nor do I have to use any LUTs. So I don't really want to change this to say DaVinci YRGB. I need color manage to be turned on. So what I realized is that if I uncheck the automatic color management option, at first I thought this might mess with my color grading, but it doesn't. And what's great is now in the output color space, I can find Rec 709-A, and there it is. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So now if I wasn't using DaVinci YRGB Color Managed, let's say I just had it on DaVinci YRGB, then that automatic checkbox isn't even there, and I can then change the output color space to be Rec 709-A. Now, if I save this, <laughs> my color is going to look terrible because, again, I'm coming from Blackmagic RAW and it just looks all washed out. As you can see, that's the reason I use the managed version of that option. So I'm going to go back in, put it back to color managed, turn off the checkbox for automatic color management and change this to Rec 709A. And now when I export this video, it'll look just like it does in the timeline when I'm inside DaVinci Resolve. And that's it. The problem that I was having with low contrast, washed out, desaturated video when I exported from DaVinci has been resolved. So that was a quick one today. Thanks as always for watching. My name's John Martins. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time on Apple A Day.